So one thing we will be discussing today is the love of my life, Tindiwe Newton, also known as Tandy Newton. So randomly last week, me and my dad decided to rewatch all of the Mission Impossible films. For those who don't know, the Mission Impossible movies are a reboot of a television show by the same name, which aired for seven seasons beginning in 1966. The premise of the films is that there are a group of spies working outside of the government for something called the IMF, the Impossible Mission Force. And they are given particular missions to stop violence around the world for the United States, but within the world of the movies, the United States doesn't acknowledge they exist, so they're like secret agents. There are eight movies planned for the series so far, and six have been released, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 2, all the way through Mission Impossible Fallout, which came out in 2018. Now, the last two installments, were delayed because of COVID, but we'll be getting one this summer and one next summer, and then that concludes the series for good. Now, Tom Cruise is currently 60 years old, and he did the first film when he was 33. So he's been starring in these movies for much of his adult life. Tom Cruise, for those who don't know, is a world-famous actor who first rose to international stardom in the 1983 film Risky Business, in which he played the character Joel. He had a few credits before then, but Risky Business is generally known as his breakthrough role. He also is a famous Scientologist and is very known for his problematic relationship to the Church of Scientology. That's a whole nother discussion for another day. But anywho, so me and my dad are watching these movies and we're going in chronological order, starting with one. I had never seen the originals because I was like a child or they were made before I was born. And I was shocked that Tendiwi Newton was in Mission Impossible 2. She was absolutely excellent and gorgeous and stunning in the role. When I was doing a little bit of research, I found some really interesting quotes that she had said about her experience. She shared that she was scared of Tom and said that he was a dominant individual. She said, he tries super hard to be a nice person, but the pressure he takes on a lot, and I think he has this sense that only he can do everything as best as it can be done. Despite that challenging work environment on set, she still did an incredible job as an actress. And she, as you know, has had a really storied career. You probably know her as I do from Westworld. While she's been a star for years and years, this is, I think, her most high profile role, as she was one of the lead actors on a show for four years for HBO in which she played Maeve. If you're interested in learning more about Westworld, go to my profile and check out my Westworld playlist where I break down each episode. And I should also note that this movie with Tom was not her first big role as she has been starring in films and TV shows since 1991. Most recently, her daughter has decided to take up acting as well. Her name is Nico Parker. It's wild how similar they look. And you may have seen her as Joel's daughter in The Last of Us in episode one. Nico comes from a showbiz family, and her father is a well-known Hollywood producer who has written so many top films and has directed them as well. This man directed Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Like, that is a great film. All right, I'm out of time, but I love these women. So proud of them. Like for part two.